Just on these damning revelations in the Australian newspaper today, David, they're appalling. Have we got to the point where Victoria needs to be barred from accepting any international arrivals altogether and they just give up the idea of trying to run hotel quarantine? Well, Peter, look, how many attempts of trying to get things right does this government need? Uh, we've had situations now of two resets, four ministers that have been charged of hotel quarantine, and yet this government's learned absolutely nothing and we are one more stuff up away from another outbreak in Victoria. And Victorians, quite frankly, would not have any confidence at all in the government being able to manage hotel quarantine going forward when we see the release mm. of this report today, damning information, the fact that this government has learnt nothing and simply it is not good enough. It's, it's quite frankly disgusting that the government has allowed this to happen but has been secretive, hidden this information. And, Peter, this individual that's been stood down today uh, would still be working if this information wasn't uncovered. Uh, it took the Australian to actually release the report to ultimately make this, get this government act. But the government hides from the truth and he's kept Victorians in the dark all along and it's simply not good enough. At some point, uh, the federal government will open the borders to uh, India. We know we're looking at the date of 15th of May for that to be reviewed. Let's say they do. How concerned, given there's a high proportion of the Indian community in Australia, in, in Melbourne, and we'd expect as some of these travellers overseas, upwards of eight or 9,000 to end up back in Melbourne under these circumstances in this sort of shambolic hotel quarantine system. How concerned should Victorians be? In fact, how concerned should Australians be given how many uh, people have moved around the country and taken the virus with them? Well, very concerned. It was only a week ago where the acting Premier, James Molino, said that he wanted to open additional hotels and bring in international students, of which some would be Indian students, into Victoria and run an Australian Open user pay system. Uh, and let me say, nothing would be any different in terms of who would be running them. Uh, it would be, again, uh, a situation of exposing Victorians. And I don't think we're ready for anything here in Victoria. Uh, the concerns that I have as well is the acting Premier today in Parliament had said that uh, really, he doesn't have a lot of confidence in hotel quarantine as a system, and that's why they're looking at Mickleham and other uh, and other systems going forward. Mm -hmm. But really, um, it doesn't matter where you put quarantine. If the system's broken, you're going to get the same result. Yeah, look, I agree with that very much, uh, David Southwick. I guess the concern we have as Victorians, it's 18 months away from the election where yeah. people can speak their mind in the ballot box. We've got this Mickey Mouse code inquiry that put forward recommendations. The system hasn't been repaired and remediated from last year. What can you do about this issue? Is there anything in the parliament you can do? Can the opposition perhaps call on the government to walk away from hotel quarantine in Victoria and perhaps outsource the service get Victorians home via Sydney, for example? Yeah, look, simply, we've just got to get this fixed. Uh, we can't uh, continue to go down this uh, learn-as-you-go-along model. I would plead to the Andrews government to actually pick up the phone, implement the New South Wales model, holus bolus. You know, they seem to have it right. Uh, certainly, there's confidence in their system. We can't keep experimenting with people's lives and livelihoods like we are in Victoria. Yes, we're 18 months away from election. Uh, I, uh, we've been calling for a Royal Commission into this and we must have a Royal Commission to get to the bottom of what's gone on. The 800 lives that have been lost, those families that have lost loved ones, we need to get to the bottom of that mm. for them. And we need to restore confidence in Victoria going forward. And unfortunately, uh, when we keep having secrecy, a lack of transparency, a lack of vision from this government, we're all sitting here in Victoria wondering you know, when are we going to have the next outbreak? It's not good enough. It's unfair. We've been through enough in Victoria and we've got to get things right. Yeah, so confidence in Victoria, David, I'll leave it here, but uh, I am not, uh, I'm not surprised by the numbers of migration uh, out of Victoria today. Mm. Victorians are leaving in droves. They're voting with their feet. That's their, uh, that's their assessment of the Andrews government.